the biggest opportunity to showcase of what, what I can do on the stage um, and what I can show people. I think as a British champion, I don't think a lot of people really know <coughs> much about me. You know, I've, I've, I've gone the long route. Um, I've gone the hard way as well, beat a lot of good fighters. So now it's about going on there and improving to everyone. Like you say, I have boxed at the highest level. I've boxed with, I've mixed with some good company and you know, hopefully that this show's come September 22nd. I've known Mike and Dave since I was 17. We used to be to train at college years together. And uh, I was shopping somewhere and I just bumped into him. And uh, he said, look, I've just opened a gym down in Chorley. And why don't you come down and give it a go and come down. I did one session and never looked back. That was it. I just knew that this was the place for me. And to be fair, if it weren't for Dave and Mike, I don't think I'd be on this stage right now or where I'm going to be on September 22nd. I'm not one for people. As much as it, it helped, I, I like my own solitude and I like to read and, and keep myself to myself. Um, the reason bit behind it is the driving. I do a lot of driving in camp. I'm having to go physio, I'm having to go here. Everything's based around here. So instead of going back to Blackpool, back to somewhere else, and I'm, like I say, I'm a, a few miles away down the road, so it was just perfect. Um, I've got a three year old boy that doesn't like to be told when to stay in bed, when to get up. So. <laughs> That was another key factor to it coming to the gym. Pretty, uh, pretty angry and in a bad mood because I've not slept that well. So it's just, it was perfect. As much as it pains me to stay away from my, my partner and my, my little lad, it was, the, it was the right thing to do if I wanted to get on the right path and, and earn as much as I can possibly get out of the sport. That's that's constant. That's all that's on my mind when, when I go running up in the hills, um, when I'm laid down. It's the, the first thing I think of when I get up. The last thing I think of when I go to bed. It's, it's just, you've got to replay everything. You say, right, this is going to work, this isn't going to work, this is what's going to happen. And, you know, I think when, you, when you're thinking like that all the time, when you come into the gym, you have an idea of exactly what you're going to do that day. Honestly, I couldn't give a shit. Um, I just, I, I walk straight in, go in, smack him on the chin, and we go from there. It's just simply it. It's, I, I know people, but, but I think, my family are more excited than me that we're on this bill and the, the, the atmosphere and all that, but for me it'll be literally running into the ring, in, bell goes, and then that's it. Then afterwards, like I said, I'll sit back, I'll, I'll have a beer in my hand and look back and think, oh, it's all right, that was a pretty decent night. But in, until the fight's done then, for me, it's just a fight. It's done well, you're not going to knock him for that, and you will give him every credit for taking this fight, because it's the fight where he could have built himself up. I'm only another fight away maybe from stepping up, so he could have just thought, well, I can get that fight another couple of fights time and, and go a different way. But um, I think he's still a bit raw, a bit wild. Um, clearly can punch. But his opposition hasn't been the best, has he, to be fair. Um, he said the same thing about Thomas McCarthy. I went on to outbox him over 12 rounds. So it doesn't really matter in a sense. Once we get in that ring, I know exactly all I need to know out of him in that first three minutes. I haven't watched anything to be fair. I, 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 I think we watched him for the first time the other day against Blaise Mendoza, who we had a brilliant fight with. Um, but I think we'll... Uh, I'll not go off anything off that. Like I say, he could be completely different coming into these fights. You know, him getting beat, me getting beat with different fighters since then. So, like I say, it'll be with the first thing. First three minutes, we'll know exactly what we need to know from him. My fight, in my head, he gets knocked out. Uh, I say I don't see it going to points. And that, that's in my head. And usually when it's in my head, it's usually right. Everyone's got weaknesses. He'll be looking at me and thinking, right, there's a weakness. The hardest thing is to do is exploit it on the night. So, no, uh, like I said, the first three minutes, I'll know exactly what will work and what won't work. Um, but until I can do 101 things here, if he gets in and he doesn't do one of the things I've been practicing, then what do I do? So we've created a lot more options for ourselves coming into that fight. Listen, listen to me now. Go.